Alrighty, welcome back. You can see the car starting to look really good with the fender skirt on it. I have began to make this shape going around the outside. Now it's time to show you exactly what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some exhaust pipe on the top of this rail here. We're going to get rid of that pinch weld and we're going to make that feel nice. Just like that feel like looks over there. You can see, you can imagine that um, the full length there being painted, what it's going to look like. Basically all it is cut the construct. Let's do it. I've got this piece in here, and this is the only way I could really get that bend in that exhaust pipe. We're bending a two and a half inch exhaust pipe, is for me to relief it like that and get that bend in there. And basically, what I want to do is I bring it over tight to this round right here, and I loaded it up, welded it on the back side of the trunk lid. So now the trunk lid is connected to the side. We're getting it tightened up slowly. Um, now I got this shape. Now I want to continue on up here with the shape. I want to lose this shape and. Uh, Lose a bunch of stuff, let's do it. So, let's, let's just do it, let's just do it. So I'm gonna cut the pinch weld. Nothing's moved. We don't want anything to move. Um, on, on, this, on this piece right here, as I'm going here and cutting this off, you wanna come, maybe you wanna come on this side and take a look. see what I'm going for. Uh, you can see in front of you what's, what's happening there. I want to do the same here. I'm running that exhaust pipe all along there. I'm, I'm replacing it with this piece of metal here um, that I got going on. Basically, and I want to butt, I want to butt weld this across here onto that piece there. So um, I figured it out. It's right below this line. <laughs> I generally look at both sides, try to do both sides the same. That's what I should do or try to. Now, that piece on the top of this here, let's get this wound off, then we'll cut into the other piece. That might be interfering there, that little piece, but we can deal with that better now. So it's try to make sure that you're not cutting other material that you shouldn't be. Now I'm hoping that a piece of exhaust pipe will lay on top of that and then we'll join it up to this piece. So I'm going to get a piece of exhaust pipe. I've got two pieces going on here. I got one piece that I bent and uh, you know how I did it. Just stood outside and banged it on the ground. I got one piece that's got a little bit of roll in it in case I need some roll. I got one piece of straight and um, what I can say is that It's, it's pretty straight. <laughs> it's pretty straight. But at the end of this one, it's pretty straight also. Let's take a measurement and then we'll know. 21 would be good. I'm thinking. Because I have to make a cut there. 21. Jolene looks like she's 21. Thank you, baby. Get, you get, you get uh, ID quite a bit. 21. Both Doug and Nate are in today. Uh, Doug's out making, taking, making paper patterns of pieces that we want around the floor of the Hudson. Nathan is taking out the water and uh, putting in some antifreeze and figuring out some wires he's got left to do. And uh, breaks are order. You know, just looking down your metal, see what's going on. Sometimes it helps. Now, I gotta have a. Hmm. 
I don't mind that shoved over top of that because there's a little bit going on there. I was kind of wondering what that would do for me. Hmm. Oh, no marker. I've got a little bit of, what can I say? I've got a little bit of, a uh, little bit of area there. When I put the exhaust pipe on top of it, it, it doesn't act that bad, actually. And to get it in there, I think that would, I'm going to go for it. Yep, I'm gonna go for it. What I'm saying is, I'm not gonna try to make the cut um, to cut, to uh, butt up to that. I'm gonna let it go over top a little bit because in the simple reason is, uh, generally that's where the door skin will be. We'll put a little filler going on around there. Doesn't matter, um, doesn't matter how, how good you weld your car up. I keep saying it, everybody fills their car out in the end, so, I, so it's, you know. Do the best job you can and make yourself happy. In no way, and you know, okay, now we're in there. Now we're in there, good. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. Now I've got to cut the front out, because it's not allowed to go in here. Hello, Douglas, hello, Nate. Any stories you want to tell anybody? No stories today. No stories today. No stories today, our stories are pretty raunchy. <laughs> now, you can see this side, see how I got this cut out? I've cut a little bit too much of this has got to be cut. No, actually the door is going to lay over top of this part. I still got to cut this off. I still got to cut that off. But basically I went down first, a little past the line here, and then I'll angle it up and I'll keep that piece. A little past the line. Whatever we don't, uh, whatever we cut out, we have to replace. See what happens. I'm gonna keep that little piece because I have to put a little piece back in there and I'm gonna keep it. I gonna keep it. Doesn't much matter. No, still gotta come out. You can see how I'm trying to shove that in there. I want this to go right underneath that. It looks like I'm gonna have to cut this down on the side here a little bit because it's hitting up tight. But I want that right underneath there like that. And then we'll continue the shape right down inside. So as we look at this, you can see I still got to cut down further. I'll just cut it down and be done with it. And then replace it. No way. No way. I think I have a big enough piece there to replace anything that I need. Nope. What's holding me out? All right. I'm right teared up against down here. So I'll have to cut more off this bad boy. Right down here, I'm hard against right there. I'm gonna cut a little bit more of that bad boy, just like I knew I would. We can get that down underneath that. Oh, 
probably hard to see a spark with my ear, but it sure did. Nope, still. Nope, not touching it now. What's it? Still hitting new here. I'm gonna dig that down with the. I don't want to take too much more off the front. I'm good, good, good. All wheat shreddies. Let's dig some out of here. I'll take the die grinder and dig that out. Ever since the airplane, I've been trying to wear earmuffs. I probably should have wore earmuffs there because rattled that ear. Ah, rattled that ear. I forget which what I had to do there. I forget what I had to do. What is going on there now? Why am I up so high? Do I have to go down? Trying to get that dug out so that'll sit down underneath that piece. Underneath that waddle on there. That's always going to be a gap because that's stuck out this way. If it was in closer, like it's actually built out here, that's why it's away. But here I can wall it up fine, like I did in that side. We'll see what I'm going to do here after. Perfect. Perfect. I like that. That I can go over top, weld that together. Let's clean some stuff up. We'll tack it in place. It's exactly what I wanted. I can go down on top of that. Good going there. If I want it to come down any further, I can just tack. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to just take a look at it for a second. I want to see if it's got that too high. I don't think so. I think it's good where it's at. Let's tack it on. What has to happen now, as I'm doing this, like I'm going to tack it, get it all in place, and then that's all going to have to be welded up, as you can see on that side. I don't know what side you only can visually see on that side. I've welded that all up. 
I mean, it's not completely finished, but um, I had to weld that up to make it look good. I welded it all along the top, all along everywhere um, to make it look right. And I know this is where I want the exhaust pipe because I'm out tight to the edge of this side of the door, just like that one. I'm out tight to the metal right there. That's where I bring it out to. I'm on tight to this one out here, and that's where I'm going to sock it on. Hoping this shield is the one. Alrighty. That right there seems right to me. Seems right to me. Not pushing that too far forward. No. Let's knock her on. One tax to hold it. Actually, it's holding itself, to be honest with you. And the next one means it's going to be in place. I'm going with it. I don't think that hurts anything at all. Having pull this up a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to get a pair of pliers and pull it down so it's tight. As I'm doing this, I'm using whatever I have to make it as reasonable as possible, you know, um, to, you know, to make in shapes, to use in material, whatever I can do to make it as reasonable as possible. Pull that down nice. Not as nice as you, Jolene, but nice. This exhaust pipe is going to give us strength and, and vision. Like when you uh, put the back seat in that, if I, I visualize that, paint it nicely. And uh, with a little bit of filler on top of that, that will look nice and beautiful. Um, and it's round all the way underneath. There's no pieces that are ended off or whatever. And um, you'll have to think of how long it took me. How many coat hangers did I use? <laughs> huh? I've seen so many people cry about something so silly. That there, where I'm welding that together, I'm trying to put as much, uh, what can I say? As much neat as I can, so when I grind it off, I can make it look like something. Where did my... Also, when I grind it off, then I can make it look like something. If I do not have the material, it's just like the primer or the body fill or whatever. Just cool it down a little bit. If I do not have the material, then I can't grind off that. You can see how I welded there and I put all the material on this side, so when I grind it off, I, I'm not scared to uh, make it look good with the grinder, and I know I've welded it. Now we're going to go underneath here and just tack these ones, so it's enough to move. And the reason I did that was to get shape. That's it, shape. Doug still has not got a computer for his car. No, no, he hasn't. That's hot. <laughs> it's on its way, but it's funny in, in eBay limbo. Yeah. What's that look like? You got you know how to do that dance? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't dance very many ways. Just tacking this on. Make it tight and right, and then we'll move on. Looking what? good, man. Looking good. Is it me or the car? Just the car. <laughs> Just okay. 
You've got some pieces to make, I, I believe. Doug is transferring some paper patterns over to metal. Don't want to get there too far. I've got to make that shape. Uh, we're on there nicely. Nicely. Now let's connect this on over here. Come take a look, sweetheart, if you'd like. Yeah, where I've got that, like that, it's kind of a hard, hard place to weld, really. Like, I mean, I can, I'm gonna tack it again. So I think coat hangers are perfect for that sort of stuff. Get up in there, put lots of meat in there, and then uh, you'll be happy. And the more you do it, you know the old story, the better you get at it. I'm gonna do this. Eh, you don't have to do anything, really. Let's make this look a little better so we can get a side visual to make it look a little better. So now, um, it's coming down around just like this. And, and rounding off. We have we got a little bit more work to do there. Yes, we do. But let's show how we will knock the top of this off. We'll just knock down. Anything can be your third arm. spots they cool it down doesn't matter doesn't matter um, where, you're, where you're welding you can warp something A lot of people upset that, you know, making the panel on the side of the car. Basically, yeah, it was just faster, and uh, I had the car to hold it, and it worked. Um, if it did not work, then I probably would have went to, uh, it would be nice to do the, like a tipping wheel on a, on a, uh, on a bead roller, but I didn't have a tipping wheel to start tipping that over, or I could have started with a, you know, English wheel on that line and uh, kept wheeling it and coming come back and forth. And it just seemed like a, a dead end street and a lot of time. Do, do, do. Now, what I'm looking for here, I'm thinking that I'm good. What I'm looking for here is that everything's going up and going around. So everything is going up, like this is going up, and that's going around. So basically, uh, I need to get that all welded up. That all welded up nice. I need to weld all that. I need to weld all the way around there. That's what I need to do. I'm not going to do that right this second. We're going to continue on with fabrication. Doug's got the frame flipped upside down. Got that knocked off. Now we have to get. Um, now we have to get some more gas for the welder. And then we'll be back onto that and knocking that down. You can see that this part here, I, I'm not going to just try to bend that down. I'm going to just cut it off and, and do something with it. But I'm going to have to go back, down, back to this part, that shape there, to get it. Yeah, basically just going to put another piece of metal on that. Now, I can hit it, just easy. 
Leave that like that. I got a little bit of distance on that. You can see that. Let's push that in a little bit. And then we'll go put a bend on a piece of metal. A bend. Mark it. This will be cut off. We'll cut that off. It's all going to be welded along the top. Need one of these at home. Will you share with me? I will share. Okay. I'm not that free. He says he's easy and cheap, girls. And he's I easy am. and cheap. And I am. <laughs> 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 Easy and cheap he is. Always hungry. Hmm. Are you always hungry? Is that where your son gets it? Huh? How you making it, Nathan? Very <laughs> says. Let's get a little bend in that if we can. See if we can. It's a little bit of a bend, I guess. That's an awful piece to say. <laughs> Got a little bit of a bend in it. It's a hard piece. I'm going to get a hammer and try that. Bend it a little bit. I'm just going to go in there and bang it on the piece of metal. That's the hard, that's the, the thing about bending this metal is, or that small, you be able to hold it. That makes sense. To be able to hold it. So I'm putting that pair of, right here. Got it bent, got the edge broke, so it's that's going good for me. Now I just need to do this. I don't know where that is. Was that hit me with the chop for that bad boy? Something just flew on. You turn the light on, sweetheart. Light up my life. How's that going to work now? There's nothing. Okay. Just going to put it in there. Just going to tap it over a little bit. Just a little bit. See if I can blind them and get it done. <laughs> huh, baby? See if I can get a little bit of roll on it. Right? See what happens. It might need to be tighter. You can see right now, as you look at top across that, this comes around and up. That's what I want. You know what? I'm gonna bang that on there, and then I'll touch it, tap it after. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we can cut it off anywhere we want to. But we'll butt it up together nice. Get it. All right. Did I get that too tight down there? I suppose it did. If I got it too tight, just do this. There. 
you can see where it all starts, I guess. So we've got that piece on there. That'll have to be welded all the way around there because the door lip comes on that side of things. Let's clamp this on. We'll cut that off. Ah. That'll have to have a piece of metal. Lots, lots of small stuff, you know. That'll have to have be capped on the end of that. There's half of it there, but it's going to have to be capped. Whether I take the whole thing, cut it off, cut it, just got tacked on there. Whether I cap the whole thing or I just, there's a little piece that has to be put in there. We still got a little piece, right? Whatever, whatever needs to go in there to make me happy. So we, we got a little piece there. Kind of just dug it out because we wanted it to fit. Let's turn that off. Now, I have one more. I'm going to cut that along there. See this line here? Generally, what I like to do is I like to try to line up the, the pieces that I have, and then it makes a line. So you can see how that's coming around there and just coming around so right up straight. We've got a little more up here, so I'm going to cut that off, make it go straight. Now, I have this piece across the back. Let's do this. I haven't, like I've, this here is, this, this, this here is fine, in my opinion. I like this, it's strong. I still have to weld it all up. Yes, there's lots of welding to do and lots of grinding and preparing to make it look good. But, this is going back here, this is connected here, all the way around, connected to the exhaust pipe, weld together all the way along the top. That's not going anywhere, because that's welded to that. That's screwed to that right at the present moment and welded at the corner panels at the present moment. Everything's getting tied together really good where it's supposed to be. Uh, hmm. But on this piece back here, I did want to continue on with the, with the two, two and three quarter. I didn't want to continue on with that. I want to, um, it just looks too big. I can't cut, I don't want to cut this, this lip off. If I cut this pinch weld off, then that means that this piece is free and that piece is free from this, and I, and I don't want to do that, to be honest with you. I want to... Hmm. Hmm. If I cut that panel free, uh, I could put my squares... I'd have to cut all this off, off here, to get a piece of round bar in there um, to butt up to this top piece. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I want to do that. If I cut, like I said, if I cut this off, you can see right there how it's cut off. And then it's just one piece of uh, sheet metal going across the top with nothing holding it. If I made the piece and it fit perfectly before I cut that off, maybe. Um, but also if I put the round stock on the front of the pinch weld, nailed on the front of this pinch weld here, then that means I have to weld a piece to this piece to the, the round rod to make it come to the round rod and round off. Nathan must have the car going. And the reason being is he changed antifreeze. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bend a piece, of round, a piece of round stock for this and connect it to here to here and then try to deal with it. Something here. I'm not sure. Let's do it. This is what I got. This is what I got. And it, it's got a... What can I say? It's got a, a, a fairly nice roll to it. I'm going to try the roller just in case. Excuse me, sweetheart. I'm going to grab that. I'm not going to lie, I was sore the first couple days. I'm going to roll this outdoors. Do you mind? No. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to take this outdoors. Thing. <laughs> we'll just 
put that right there. A pair of vice grips, get it hold the hell down. Just checking these seats out in the car. You can see how it rolls around the back. You can see what I'm thinking, 63 T-Bird, I think. Nathan's got the car running again. Um, what happened is uh, when Jolene shut it off, it stalled, or the starter stopped working. The bolt fell out of the starter. Things sound some good. Nathan right in his glory over there playing with that flathead. That's good. I think so anyways. I wonder if Doug remembers the wrench that he had on that bad boy. A pair of pair of vice grips on it. That might work. Ha <laughs> that'd be nice. Be nice to have the right one in there. Um pair of vice grips. We'll try to get that piece across top and then uh, you can see what it's gonna look like. You can tell that the this is a lot nicer already with that cut off, the pinch weld off the top. To me, I think it makes it look a lot better already. Hot diggity dog. What I'm going to look at, see if it's even. That looks best to me. It's my chance to bend it. I think it's quite thin wall, so we'll see what happens. Take that off. Look up! That's how fast it could have happened, just like that. One door closes, another one opens. I had to come in with that. And the reason being is I roll a little bit more. Not much. I can always step on it and take it down a little bit, I guess, after, but that went well. in the ram's horn. Maybe we can get a straightness out of her. Okay. I'm going to go with that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that because that's the straightest one I got. Actually, that don't look bad there, does it? Right on top of that. Leave that little roll up there. We'll see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off right here somewhere. 
Did you want to see that? So I got, figure I got enough over there, right? Nice. We'll do that. We'll get it set on there. Oh, we're gonna make a mark. Get that cut. Not sure what this pipe is off of, but let's make it work. All right, now we've got it looking pretty good so far. Then she's got to turn it down quite heavy. This fits good too, but there fits too good about there. Let's push it over a little bit, yeah. Let's see if we can bend that down a little bit. Thinking that she he got it circulating, so we got it. Oh, now I want to bend this. Come on inside for a minute. Closer. Got to wind it down the ends a little bit. Same pipe. That's a, that's good all the way over there, isn't it? Right over to there. That's good. This one has to come down a bit more. bending the pipe a little bit underneath but I don't mind that it's underneath one thing about that pipe bender pretty hard to go back back in and bend what I got need going on there you know what I'm trying to tell you Ready for race day? Charge ready for race day? <laughs> that should be good. Nice to have the floor out of the car. Yep, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Now, that obviously can be bent down a little bit. I don't mind that up there. I still. It's quite a mess of weld to get, if you know what I'm trying to say, to weld that all inside there and make that nice in there. Does it take it up another height that we don't want? Does that make sense? You know? I don't know. I don't know. Let's take it down. That way there I can maybe make it fit. Let's 
that's good. That's good, sir. Uh, let's do this. Nope, it's not gonna fit. Something like it turns really. Huh? Yeah. It turns really quickly here. You can see if you come over here and take a look, it turns really quickly right there. I'm going to cut that off there and I'll add that piece in after because it just seems like a hard piece to make. You know? Watch yourself, sweetheart. Watch yourself. That there's good for me, but as soon as it starts going in that poopy direction, I'm going to cut it off. And the reason being is I feel like that shape can be gotten with a little piece put in there and cut and made to fit and stuff like that, which it's going to have to be. Now I'm going to take a look at it. That fits pretty damn good, like, you know, I could weld that right in there. Just I don't know if I want it that high, you know? Or put it put it out on the front of probably better that way. I'm gonna cut that off there. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna cut that off there. Let's do it. Just try it. Which one am I going to cut over there? Got to figure that out before I do it. Do the, do that one. On the other side and draw that off. that I guess. Oops, oh, sorry. Just got it something like that. Let's cut her off. Got more pipe there, so we can do it again. <laughs> Need a zip cut. Not sure. Not sure with everything going on. It could go many different ways still, obviously. Watch it fall inside the car. Nope. Awesome. Awesome. Hmm. I wouldn't want it turned out, would I? I want it. That's nice. Probably didn't cut it here the best, but it's sitting down to the right. Now, take a look at that. 
<laughs> I can't ask for not much better, to be honest with you. I'm going to straighten that off. straighten this off because I just want to straighten this off they got this I got this line going on here this pinch weld it's not straight I want to straighten it off so the piece of round rod will stick straight to it got the other side drank all my coffee Cut this off. Fits pretty good on there. Oh, let's, this is what's going to have to happen. I haven't got. This is what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I think I'm going to use this piece. I'll use this piece to nail on the front of this piece to get me a, a nice shape going there. And the corners are going to have to be made after. The sheet metal because the sheet metal is going to have to yeah the sheet metal is going to have to make that corner to make me self happy because there's not going to, i'm not going to be able to get a tight little bend like i want to get out of it so this is what i'm going to do ba, 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 ba. i'm going to cut the ends of that off just so i don't make myself look so bad and what i mean by look so so bad is um, if i cut them off cut them off if i leave them the way they are um, they just don't fit <laughs> Got a mark on both sides. Let's cut it. My zip cut on the other side. Clean off the air I want to weld it on. hard to believe like no it's not hard to believe it always happens doesn't it baby huh it always huh the extension cords ouch that hurt extension cords are a nightmare For now, I'm gonna 
knock this off. What I mean by knock it off is take off the, it's got some, it's got a galvanized coating on this. Before I tack that on there, I'm going right there. I'm going to tack that on to make myself happy. I think I am. And then I'm going to make the sheet metal corners on my own. Or I can put better ends on that and make them fit, which might happen also. Probably, well, that's what will happen. That's what will happen. Let's get this ground off. Let's get it plugged in. do that much for now I can do that piece when it's on the all that grinding and stuff like that we'll do it off screen uh, Jolene did a good job the other day uh, putting it in you know, like a quietly that was good that was good how she did that that now should I be inside or outside for this and then what needs to happen is I want the sheet metal. I need maybe maybe Doug or Nate. Who's free? Cheap, easy, and free. All right. This is for you on this side. You're on this side. This is going on like this, right? I don't want it held back like that. I want it up here on the front like that. And I don't want this pipe to go over top of it if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Do you know what I'm saying? So you gotta hold the pipe. You gotta hold the pipe. I'm gonna go the other side. I'm gonna get my little stick too, maybe. See if I can get one. Actually, I should have one the same as you, but I don't. I'm going to bring it my way a little bit. I got to go on the front of this pinch weld. Looks like it works there, don't it? Now, this time, I'm going to look at your, your, see where you're at. Let me see where you're at. Let your other hand go. You see? Can, can you move your hand? <laughs> I'm not sure where you're trying to walk. Now, it looks pretty damn good right there. I'm going to tack it in the center because we can weevil it bobbing back and forth. Oh! Should hold itself. Now, come over this side, Doug. Oh. Alright, let's back it up. Let's split it up then. Actually, leave that like that. Push down the other side. That won't hurt none, will it? That's still good? It's good, isn't it? Come to the other side. Do that again here. Push down on it. So it looks like the other side. When does it say good? Yeah, it's got quite a bit of pressure on it there. I can push down. Okay. When? Say when. When? Now? Yeah. Okay. 
Looks pretty darn good, it does. Not bad. Cut off there. Cut a little bit further there. I can make that work. Good. And cut off just a little tiny bit there, I think. Awesome. So that's basically what I think I gotta go on. I gotta fill that. I'm gonna bring a piece come over here and down. Yeah. You got pieces made for the floor and everything, all that, all ready yeah, to rock and roll? Just working more that right down. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully everything will come together and work just great. Let's mark that. Actually, I should tack that on. Get that tacked on better so it's going to stay there. A piece of metal from here, this edge, over to this edge. All right, Doug, I'm going to get you to cut me a piece of metal. Excellent. Can do. Yep. How much time we have, baby? We're at an hour right now. Alrighty, you can see what we're doing. Um, I'm just kind of... Oh, I, well, there's a dent in that piece of pipe. I know, I see and that. I meant to... You didn't tell me. You already had it all. Uh, see, I got a dent in that piece of pipe. I'm going to turn it, take it off and turn it around. I don't want that dent. It's just three little tack welds. But I could do the exact same thing over again now. But we'll just put it back on again, do it again. Um, yeah, you can see what I'm doing there now. I'm just going to try to maybe maybe bring the piece of pipe. Maybe I can get it welded on there and make a nice cut and nice fit there and just weld it back together. That'll be fine. Uh, these will have to be done. I'll do a couple tack tacks, keep them in place, and then it'll be like a right quickly. There's, it, they're right quick. They're not uh, something that you stay and burn in for a long time. Uh, as soon as we get this molded down on here, we figure out what we're going to do here. Also, the sheet metal, the sheet metal coming here will be the deal. Like... Obviously, when I lay the sheet metal in here, right, it comes over to the center of the piece of pipe. We want to get it over to the center so we can grind it off, grind it off nice and right to this edge. And we bring that down around. It's going to come right down around flat like that. So then I can add something in here like this to finish that off to make it look nice. Yeah, that'd probably be the easiest way to do it. But uh, we'll go from there. Uh, things are going good. Uh, it looks a little bit better, I think. A lot better without the pinch weld on the top. We're getting, we're getting lower. Didn't want to go any higher in the back. Thanks for coming back. Hit the subscribe button. Come back every day and watch real live customization. Um, it's not with the tools that you think you need. It's with three grinders and a hammer and a, and a friend, uh, basically. And I like to keep it that way because if I start running over to the English wheel and start doing other things like that, all it's going to do is slow me down. That's all it's going to do. And I do not feel like this, that right there deserves to slow me down whatsoever. I feel like just keep going with it. Um, if something does not work, obviously I'll go back and fix it. But you can build something like this in a, in a shoe box with a bent nail and a hammer if you want to. It's called the will and the desire. So basically we started with a car that's cost us nothing and now we're just making a full custom out of it we're doing what we want to do to make ourselves happy come back tomorrow you do the exact same thing to make you happy and we'll be here tomorrow